Hello everyone. In a previous video, I looked at Samsung DeX, which is a desktop-like environment that runs on Samsung Galaxy mobile phones. And while I found that it didn't do everything, um, you can actually achieve a lot with it if you're in a situation where you don't want to take your laptop or you can't for some reason. Um, I was quite impressed with just the amount I could achieve and I managed to edit that whole video in DeX. I got quite a lot of comments on that video asking me why I didn't try any Linux applications. And the short answer is, uh, I didn't know you could. <laughs> so I've since looked a little bit into Linux on DeX and installed Ubuntu. And let's have a look together at um, how it works and more importantly, if it does work um, to achieve a full Linux environment running on top of DeX on your mobile phone. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is actually install the Linux on Dex program. Um, and you can't get it on the Google Play Store right now. So we are gonna have to go and find the APK and install it ourselves. I'm just gonna do this using Dex, but you could actually do this part on your mobile phone if you wanted. Um, and it's available on apkmirror.com very conveniently. Um, and uh, we want to grab the APK file itself. Um, I think this one is it. So let's download the APK. Click on that file. Do you want to install? Yes. Uh, now, I would give you a slight bit of security advice regarding sideloading applications. Um, you don't always know exactly what you're sideloading. Stuff in the Google Play Store is almost always safe. Um, but if you just get a random APK off the internet, it could be anything. So be a bit careful when you're sideloading stuff. After that, let's um, open it up. And yes, we do need to access files. Um, and by the way, this is a beta. So um, <laughs> don't be too critical of a few little bugs that you see. Uh, yes, sign into your Samsung account. If you have a Samsung Galaxy phone, you probably have one of those already. The program itself is essentially uh, a shell. Um, we actually need to get the Linux image um, and then run that image. The first thing we need to do is download a kind of bare bones image. So it's easier if you just go download from server and then go and download the already supplied image because it's very compatible with DEX. Um, so worth noting your default user account and password, which is DEX top and secret. And then we want to download this image file, Ubuntu 16.04. It's quite big, it's nearly four gigs, so it's gonna take a while to download. Once that's been downloaded, we just want to extract the file. Now, you've probably downloaded a zip, and we need to get the .img image file out of that. Um, now, the image is going to be much bigger, it's about 10 gigabytes. Um, so make sure you have a bit of storage space available on your phone for this step. Okay, once that is extracted, you should have a folder sitting alongside your zip file with a .img image file inside it. So let's go and browse for that uh, image file. Cool, um, name for the image, just Ubuntu description. I don't think you need one. Um, and then here's where you want to decide the full size of your container. Um, now, this is going to be effectively the size of your hard drive um, running in Linux, the, the sort of virtual hard drive. Um, so you want to make sure you have enough space to do everything you're going to need. Now, you can share some storage between um, the Linux image that you're running and the rest of your phone, um, but make sure you have enough that you can install all of the packages you need in Linux. I'm gonna give myself 20 gig for now. Okay, and with the image all set up, let's run it. This is amazing, by the way, that we're running Linux on my mobile phone on a big screen. I think this is so cool. Right, and here we go. And here is the kind of main um, introduction to Linux on DeX. So the interesting thing is going to be, what packages can I install on Linux on DeX? Now, I'm an app developer. Um, I make video games. And I'm very interested to know if I can run Unity because there is a Linux version of the editor. So let's see if Unity will run on top of Linux on DeX 
on my mobile phone. Can I develop an Android app using Android? Let's go and download Unity Editor for Linux. Now, what else is available to me? Do I have Sublime Text? Um, can I install it? Doesn't know about it. Okay, I might be able to install it another way. Um, what else do we have? Do you have Gedit? That's cool. Uh, do we have Git? Cool. Do we have Python? And do we have Node? Okay, so that's very cool. That means that I can do scripting languages um, development and run them in this environment, which is very cool. Right, how's Unity getting on? So... Uh, we have a dot app image now app images are almost like pre-compiled executables so let's see if we can run it it's in my downloads directory so let's just run unity hub setup app image okay i need to make it executable Okay, now this is probably the biggest drawback of running Linux on DeX. Um, the architecture it's built for is ARM because the processor in your mobile phone is ARM. And you are going to run into problems pretty soon with any application that is pre-built for Intel processors. And unfortunately that's the vast majority of them. So Unity Editor on Linux is not going to work in Linux on DeX right now because it's built for Intel and I've got an ARM processor in my Note 9. So okay that's a shame, Unity is not going to work. Um, but I'm interested to know if I can still install the Android SDK. So let's try Android Studio and see what happens with that. VLC. Rather than the no X package, let's try installing just default VLC. I mean, I have VLC in Android anyway. I mean, that runs in DeX, but it'd be nice to have it in my Linux environment as well. Okay. Uh, there's some GUI problem. No, it wants me to accept the privacy and network policy. Can I do that on the command line? No QT privacy ask. Okay. No, this is not working well. Okay, it seems like no luck with VLC player, that's a shame. Is this videos program gonna work? Not well. Okay. All right, a couple of setbacks. Let's see what Android Studio does. Uh, first of all, let's extract it from here. So we have it all here. Run studio.sh. Okay. It starts, that's a good sign. Standard. Darkula, obviously. Okay, an error code while trying to compute required packages. And I think this is the same problem in that it can't find packages for ARM. They only exist for Intel processors. So 
yeah, it's something that could change in the future, um, but right now, um, I don't think I'm going to be able to make an Android app in Android, which is a shame. Let's see what else is available with Node and Python. Um, so let's try making a sample Node app in JavaScript and see if I can build something from scratch and run it. Uh, so in my home directory, I'll just make a sample Node app folder and then go into it. Oops. And let's make a file. What can I open this with? Yeah, let's go with gedit. And let's just go with console log hello world. Nice and easy. Okay, so we have Node. Let's see if we can do something a little more complicated than that. Okay, let's try a slightly more complicated example, just creating a web server and just printing our hello world text um, into the web page. Let's see if that works. Okay, let's see if we can go to our website. Cool. So that's great. That means I can do web development because I've got access to Node and all of the modules, which is an enormous amount of um, potential code. Um, and I can test it locally as well. So um, that's really great. And you have to remember that like PayPal, Netflix and Uber were all written in Node in JavaScript. So um, if you were doing web development or anything like that, um, you're going to be covered just fine. Okay, let's try Python. Cool, okay, I mean, I'm not going to dig too much into Python, but Python 2.7 works. Um, I wonder if we've got Python 3. Yeah, cool. Okay, so we've got Python 3 already installed. Um, that's cool. Okay, let's try some games. Can I install Steam on Linux on Dex? Let's find out. Errors were encountered while processing Steam Launcher. Yeah. Dependency problems. I think... The ARM64 packages haven't been built. <sighs> so a dependency for ARM64 hasn't been built and isn't available in apt, at least at the moment. But even if we got it to run, I think we'd have the same problem. Even if we got Steam to run, the games themselves wouldn't be built for ARM. So it's not a great situation for gaming, at least for any games um, that have been made in the last 10 years or so. Okay, so returning to the title of the video, what Linux on Dex is and isn't. Um, it is a Linux environment in which you can do web development. Um, Node and Python works, um, Ruby, uh, any sort of scripting language, um, and anything that is built for ARM processors. Um, so most of the packages seem to work through apt, um, and anything else you can download the source for and build yourself. You'll be fine. Um, for all of the packages that are pre-built, they're almost certainly not going to work unless you can find specific ARM ones. Um, but yeah, all of the uh, big company apps that release packages uh, like Unity or Android Studio or Steam, um, they're all going to be built for Intel processors. And um, unless you can find some sort of interpretation layer or virtualization or emulation to make that work, um, they're not going to run in Linux on Dex right now. Now, I have discovered that um, some people have done that. They've run virtual machines um, using QEMU, um, and you can actually run Windows in a virtual machine um, if you want. But 
it starts becoming incredibly slow at that point. You get the equivalent of something like a 300 megahertz machine, um, and that's just not going to be usable really for doing anything productive. Um, so I think I would like this software to improve in two different ways. One, I would like more packages available for ARM. So some of the niceties like Sublime Text um, would definitely make me happier just kind of being in the environment and VLC player. Um, and secondly, I think they should provide another image. So at the moment, there's only one default image to download, which is Ubuntu built for ARM. I would like them to also provide a kind of compatibility image. So something that will run uh, Intel 86 or 64 um, bit packages as well. Um, now, it's obviously going to be much slower, um, but I think they should give you that option. So you could either get the performance image, which has everything built for ARM processors and runs natively, um, or the compatibility image, which will run all of the packages that you download. Um, now, you're obviously going to hit other limits on the phone, like the amount of RAM and storage you have, um, but we're getting to the point where you actually have quite a lot. You know, you've got um, quite a few different hardware threads, you've got eight or in the latest Note 10, like up to 12 gigabytes of RAM, and you can even have up to a terabyte of storage on a phone these days. So technical performance limits might not be the problem. The problem might be that interpretation layer of taking code built for Intel and actually executing it on ARM. And I think if the Linux on Dex team can solve that, um, then it's really gonna be an amazing Linux environment that you can run off your phone. So fingers crossed for that. In the meantime, you might be better off sticking with Dex for the majority of your other tasks. So like I said in my previous video, if you're doing productivity work on the web, say with Google Sheets, um, stick with Dex because everything runs there. Um, and of course you have VLC player and all of the other Android apps you could need um, built into that environment. Okay, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, then please hit the like button down there and you can help me out by subscribing to my channel as well. Okay, see you next time.